I'm Amanda, and um, my goal is to be a sort of gateway into the crypto world for you and to act as your personal um, connection to Cardano. So um, please subscribe to get notifications for my upcoming videos and regular AMAs. So the, the kids are busy um, playing at the moment, so I can answer a few of these questions real quick. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about like, what is, what is Mary? Like, what's the deal with it? Um, what does it mean? What do we need to do for the hard fork? So real quick, I'll try to explain. So the Mary testnet launched on February 3rd, and now we have the uh, mainnet launch um, at Epoch 251, March 1st. So a um, couple of reasons why like the big to do about Mary is the whole thing behind like multi-assets and native tokens. And so um, being able to support and track, um, transfer different types of assets um, and have native tokens without a second layer of smart contracts. So that's kind of a big deal um, because it leads into uh, bigger things like DeFi projects and protocols. I'm really excited for, for the lending protocols and swaps and liquidity pools and, and all that stuff that comes with DeFi. Um, NFTs, so I don't really do NFTs, but uh, they are a upcoming thing and, and gaining a lot of popularity. So in the gaming world um, and collectible markets, like NFTs are a big thing. And so this also allows for those to be brought to Cardano. Um, so another thing that makes it different from um, other crypto projects is that um, most other crypto projects are like single assets um, where they only track like one type of token on their ledger. Um, the native tokens are gonna be treated the same as ADA. So in like Charles's words, when he said um, they are treated the same, they're not treated as like second class citizens. So. Um, the biggest thing I see people excited about is being able to pay their transaction fee in their native tokens. So that's something that people are really excited about. Um, so what does it mean for the Cardano community is what a, another big question is like, what do we do with it? Um, so what it does is it brings more developers to the community. So it will grow our network, which is of course a good thing. Um, it's also laying down another stepping stone for getting closer to Alonzo, which is where we get the smart contracts. So um, the best part of the upgrade, of course, is that it's like really seamless and easy and just general users and holders don't have to do anything. It's just gonna happen automatically for you guys. So what are you guys gonna, gonna do with it now that you know what it is. You're gonna you know, launch an NFT, you're gonna create a utility token for, for a dApp or make a dApp, you know. Um, I'm of course gonna explore the DeFi possibilities, super fun. So yeah, um, that's my little update. I hope it was um, helpful and help explain a little bit more about Mary. I'll post some links for the, the information that I talked about in the comments. And thanks for watching and liking the video and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>